Hello and welcome to Evolve Pipe Drive Podcast, where we talk all things pipe drive, sales, apps, and pipe drive marketplace. Today I'm joined by Eric Morris, the head of growth and operations at Copy Factory, and he's going to walk us through the Copy Factory platform and how it integrates with pipe drive. Eric, over to you. Hey, thank you, Bruce, for having me on the video. Um, right. So, uh, yeah, on the integration side for Copy Factory, the core things that we focus on as a platform is helping you write sequences faster using AI. And the second part is using AI to generate personalized sentences at scale. We're the only platform that allows you to build custom AI frameworks to replicate your sequence writing and contact personalization at scale and create effective workflows using our integration with Pipedrive. Okay, so, so, so what we're looking at here, this is, that, that's, uh two very clear kind of buckets what you what you guys are solving right so you've got the writer sequence and personalized contact would, would, would this be considered the the home page of, of of the platform yeah so what we're looking at here is the home page of copy factory we have a few different options to quickly get started in front of us such as writing a sequence personalizing contact or using our chrome extension uh, where you can generate personalized sentences and sequences on the fly Nice one. So what, what would you like to show me today in terms of how it would touch pipe drive? Yeah, so what I want to show you today is how we can quickly generate a quick sequence and how we can personalize contacts at scale and then push the contacts with the personalized sentences directly into pipe drive to create personalized email campaigns um, with click the button. Nice one. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's have a look. So what we're going to do here is we're going to press the option to write a sequence. So when we press this, what we're going to see is a few different copywriting styles appear in a second. So when we press the big red generate content button, what we're seeing in front of us is our library of pre-built copywriting frameworks for sequence writing, ranging from cold email marketing to LinkedIn outreach to nurture sequences and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scroll through our library where we can select some copywriting styles. In this case, I'll choose like a leading question for step one, a short follow-up for step two. We can do a... So, so you're, you're now multi, you're selecting different types here, right? So every time you're clicking, um, it's, it's adding that as a, a d different stage. Yeah, exactly. So what we're doing is we're selecting different copywriting styles that we'd like to use inside of our sequence. And cool. uh, if we want to change them, we can. Uh, and we can also create custom frameworks as well. So any current sequences you're writing manually, we can create custom AI versions of it so you can replicate it at scale as well. So what I've done is I've selected four different copywriting styles. I've selected next. And now what we can see on the left-hand side is the four copywriting styles that we selected. In this case, a leading question, a short follow-up, an impact email, and then a breakup email. And then on the right-hand side, we can see previews of what those copywriting styles look like. And what we can do at this point is if you want to do variations of copy, either for each step or for the sequence in general, we can do that quite easily by simply selecting the number of variations we want to generate. So in this case, what I'm doing are those, those variations changing each um, copy in per each step? Yeah. So what it's going to do is it's going to create two versions of the output. Uh, so let's say if in this case I've selected that I want to do two variations or two versions of step one, it's going to mm -hmm. use the content that we put in there and create two versions of the output so that we can select which ones we want to use or use both. In a campaign, nice. yeah. Because the re reason I asked, like, you can, you can, it looks like you can do it on the next step as well, right? So, um, at each, for each step, you, yeah. you might have a very effective closing email, so you might not want to, yeah, okay, understand. Yeah, exactly. So, like, what we can press now is next, and we're taking on to our generate content screen, where on the left hand side, we're being asked questions uh, that are relevant to the template styles that we selected in the previous page. So in this case, we're going to be entering in our company name, our value composition, 
how we help, and then an example of a case study. So what we can do here is for the company name that we're writing for, if we were going to create a quick sequence for Coffee Factory, we would type in Coffee Factory up here. And this would be to send the sequence on behalf of Coffee Factory to our prospects. We can enter in a quick value proposition. So I'll put in something like, uh, we help you streamline your sequence writing and contact personalization process using AI. How company helps, we can be a little bit more descriptive. So we can put in something like, we allow you to build custom AI models to replicate your copywriting style scale. To test messaging faster mm. and focus on driving deals forward. And lastly, we can enter in a quick example of a case study. So we can put in something like uh, we helped J2 Group streamline their contact personalization process to personalize over 60,000 contacts per month with a team of three people. Brilliant. Now what we can do is when we press the big red generate content button on the right hand side, we're going to see an example of a sequence get generated using this information, but written in the styles we selected on the previous page. So when you do build your own custom models, you can select the questions you want to use. You're not limited to the ones you see on the left hand side. And you can also edit the output as well. So if you wanted to make changes to the length, the style, the tonality, et cetera, that's all completely possible as well. Nice. And and you get to review because I think step one had two options. So here we're actually reviewing both options as well, right? Yeah, exactly. So we have step one version A, step one version B. Yeah. We have the step two, the step three down here and then we have the final step which is the breakup email so what we can do at this point is we can press add all steps to sequence and what that's going to do is add all of the ai generated copywriting uh, output into a editor so in here what you can do is you can make any edits to the formatting or to the text and you can make quick edits using our feature called content blocks and what content blocks allows you to do is essentially save static blocks of text. Think about case studies, call to actions, et cetera, uh, as a template. Mm -hmm. And that means that you can make quick edits on the fly um, if you wanted to. Nice. And, and something I will, I will say here is we've got, we're, we're mixing here, right? So we've got emails and LinkedIn and you, you just said text. Did you mean SMS or do you mean um, text as in co uh, copy? Yeah, so Copy Factory supports um, sales sequence or sales messaging um, use cases. So it ranges from cold calling scripts to LinkedIn messages, email sequences, as well as SMS messages as well. Um, mm. So we have users that are using the four different use cases uh, across the sales pipeline as well. Very nice. Um, and the other core use case that we support is contact personalization. Now, what most of our customers would do at this point is we've generated a example of like a base sequence that we can see in front of us that we would use to send to our prospects. However, now that contact personalization has become more prevalent and prospects are, expect are expecting this in their sales campaigns, what we can do is we can create personalized sentences at scale in an effective way. And we can use tools like Pipedrive to send the sequences in a very streamlined and effective manner as well. So one of the features in iDrive that you can do is you can build uh, custom fields on, under the contact field uh, and you can call this whatever you want. So let's say, for example, you want to call it personalized sentence one. What will end up happening is when we push the personalized sentences from Copy Factory into Pipedrive, the same way the first name for the contact automatically changes, the personalized sentence will also automatically change for the contact as well. 
So the way that we can do this is if we go back into our home screen, into dashboard, if we go into personalization down here, we have a number of personalization templates that are publicly available that you can quickly use to get started. Alternatively, you can build custom personalization frameworks as well. So if you are currently doing a specific type of personalization, you can build custom frameworks by simply selecting create from scratch. So once you've added in the personalization frameworks that you want, we can create a sales playbook. And in this case, what I've done before this call is I've created a playbook by uh, simply selecting the type of personalization that we're looking to do. In this case, it's called case study personalization. And we're mapping that to the email snippet one, or in this case, uh, you can call this whatever you want. If you want to call it personalized sentence one, that's essentially going to be the custom merge field that you're going to use inside of the sequence. Yeah. So you can add as many uh, personalization templates and as well as many uh, custom merge fields as you want as well. This is very cool. I, I'm just having a look on the right hand side. You can see what it looks like, right? So that I've done a deep dive into Salesforce and came across this case study. That is what's come out as the email snippet one. Is that right? Yeah. So what we can see on the right hand side is the data points that you're providing. So in this case, it's a summary of a case study and a, a company name. And then what ends up getting generated is a personalized sentence that's similar to this, where we're basically taking in an example uh, of the case study and the company name to generate personalized sentences. So what we can do at this point is if we select the star icon here, we can press create contacts, we can import from CSV. Here we are going to select the sequence that we want to basically tag the contacts to. So in this case, if I select the evolve demo, we're going to select the playbook we just created, which is the case study playbook. And now what I can do is I can select uh, the option here to upload the contacts. So this is essentially your needs list that you'd be uploading along with the data points that you want to use to generate the personalized sentences. So if I select this here, we should see the pop-up appear where if I click the file that we want to upload, we can see the contact uh, data in front of us. When we press next, all we have to do is simply map the headers to the fields that we want. So in this case, we're going to map the clean summary text to clean summary text. And the press and current company, we can map that to company name mm -hmm. and simply press next. Now, when we press submit, what that's going to do is upload the contacts into Coffee Factory. And if we head over into our contact screen over here, on the left-hand side, we can see in a second the contacts that were uploaded along with the personalized sentences. So that should appear in a second. So it's quite a, a live demo. This always happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what we have over here is the personalized sentences under email snippet one. Yeah. So in a second, we will see this appear. So, so as this is loading up, what what's actually happening here, right? So, so has Copy Factory visited that? domain how has it come up with the the email snippet yeah so what we've done is we've taken the research that you provided to us inside of the leads list yeah. uh, and you would have in this case you would have had the company name that you're targeting in this case the j2 group and then a summary of a case study where you might have just copied and pasted some of the text and included that in the spreadsheet when you've uploaded that data we've basically taken that research and we would basically condense that into a personalized sentence that you would want to generate um, by selecting the template. And you can see examples of the sentences that get generated as well over here. 
So that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting, right? So that summary text DSA to JT group um, on the yeah was it the second to to right yeah okay. um, yeah that, that one that's then you can see there's they're all very similar there but then it's creating different first sentences variations yeah different variations yeah, exactly so like this would be if you were running like an ABM campaign you could generate yeah you're, you're gonna you're gonna touch multiple people in a business aren't you yeah exactly and then down here we have a different example where it's salesforce uh personalization and then in this case it was a uh, personalized sentence based on uh, the case study we found on them uh what you can do at this point is you can push this into uh pipedrive by right. selecting uh integration sync and in here we can either push the contacts that we just uploaded or we can push uh, all contacts into the um, that, that fit the criteria into the platform as well. And the way that we can integrate Coffee Factory to Pipedrive is quite simple. So if we head over to integrations on the left hand side, we can select connect to your tools. And in a second, we're going to see the list of integrations that appear inside of the Coffee Factory platform. So you can either integrate with Pipedrive from Coffee Factory in the Pipedrive, or you can go into Pipedrive's marketplace and uh, do it the other way around. Yeah. So all you have to do in this case is simply select Connect on the right hand side, enter in your Pipedrive API key, and then what we can do is we can create mappings where we push. Uh, specific types of data. So we can select add new mapping. We can select our tool. In this case, it's going to be pipe drive. And then when we add field mapping, what we can do is we can select and map the data points that we want to push. Like if you want to push the email address, we'd map email address to email. And then we can also add other fields as well. So in this case, the personalized sentence, which is email's favorite one. We would map that to press my sentence one and so on. Yeah. So when we press save mappings, now if we went back to the uh, contact screen and we press push contacts, we would be pushing all of that data directly into Python. I love it. Very cool. And what what if you have, if you already had your own sequences, right? So, um, if someone's looking to jump into Copy Factory, uh, obviously it can speed up the process. But some businesses will already have had their own. So how how could that um, could could, could yeah. you help them? Yeah, well, what what we can do and what we do quite frequently with clients is if you have a specific uh, copywriting style or where you like your sequences structured, you can build custom frameworks um, mm -hmm. by simply uh, going into the platform into email premises on the sequence writing. And then you can press add new premise. And basically you can press create from scratch. If you yeah. go into an existing sequence, just as a quick example, like if you're going to make a short follow-up one, basically the way it would work is you would simply select the questions that you want to ask the user. Yeah. So in this case, it's the company name, the value proposition and how the company helps and simply just paste in an example of your current sequence in here. Yeah. Along with some examples to the answers. And then when you press save premise going forward in the future, you have built a custom AI model that when you answer the questions in different ways, you create custom output replicating that style. Very nice. So it's uh it's completely custom. So any changes you would make to the style, tonality, structure of the email, uh, or personalization it will reference that going forward in the future in the AI output. And it looked like you could have multiple examples per premise as well, right? Yeah, exactly. So you can have multiple uh, examples as well. So let's say if you wanted to have a premise where you have a variation of styles that you want to kind of stick to, uh, you can add in training data to reference that as well. Hmm. Very cool. Um... Well, thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to show me on, on this? We've seen how um, it can connect to, to, to Pipedrive 
Um, yeah, um, I think on my side, uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing that we do have that might be useful to some users is a Chrome extension where you can generate personalized sentences or messages on the fly. It doesn't matter what website or uh, app you're in, you can use that as well. Nice. That was, a, that, that was quite a neat overlay as well. as a <laughs> nice design. <laughs> yeah, I think your product team spent quite a while uh, on that one. <laughs> Yeah, very, very good. Uh, well, Eric, thank you very much for walking me through um, uh, the Copy Factory platform and how how it can integrate and uh, you know generate those very impactful first sentences because that that is sometimes what people can spend quite a lot of time um, on. Um, so yeah, I, I would. Th there are free trials for for Copy Factory. I think you get about twenty to twenty five thousand uh, free credits or something like along those lines. So I'd. Um, yeah, exactly. Rec recommend we'll put the links below for you to give it a try yourself but eric uh, once again thank you very much thank you thank you very much bruce cheers cheers now